number 12. We'll get back to that match in a moment. Kucher with a two-up advantage here at the sixth. The perfect line here is the further most, furthest most right post on the driving range net that you can see off the distance, and that's pushed a little bit right. Did not make the bunker that he was concerned with. Thomas called it one of the best rounds he has ever played when he put that player's championship away on Sunday a couple weeks ago. That's some, uh, some pretty high self-praise for a young guy that's won 14 times on the tour. Watch this speed difference right here. He swings at almost 10 miles an hour faster than Kutcher. His hips unwind so much quicker. Serious line Kutcher's though. That one came wow. up just short of the bunker. So both players a little bit off the mark here at the par five. It is reachable. It takes a couple of to the sixth where Kuchar and Thomas both missed the fairway. From 3.30, just a layup for Kuchar. Rifle it, keep the trajectory down underneath those trees. Will it kick out of the rough now? That's a big mistake right there. Will not be able to control his approach into this back left hole location today. Hate doing that. That's like a it's a cardinal sin in golf, laying up in the rough on a par five. That's just... Yeah, the one's like 15 or so. Yeah, yeah, right. You know, Steve, nowadays I do it on par fours, so laying up in the rough. The other one is if it goes a little left. Correct. It's going to have to be... It's going to make what you're doing. I think I just like kind of punching them. Uh, I was uh, kind of... It's dangerous when you're picking people out of orange because we're in Austin. There's going to be a lot of orange behind me. A lot of these greens. JT got a tremendous break. I mean, he was just on a launching pad. Perfect line, little uphill. Usually from 313, you would be thinking about going for it. It's hanging right. He just didn't look like he was able to get his body through that one on the upslope at all, and his legs kind of quit and cut off, and that is going to be problematic down there. He goes down the grip a couple of the hill. When you're on an upslope like that, you really have to force your weight up the hill, but I think he, if... He thought if he really gave that a full gusto, it was going to jump out of that rough and maybe even be too long. So it was just uh, not quite 100% certain, and now he's going to leave himself in a, a tough spot, but his opponent is in a little, even a tougher spot, in the rough, underneath the trees. So all depends on the lie for Justin. So both players will... Like ratings? <laughs> Us the intel of that lie right there, but one four six for Cooch, and this is one of the only spots of actual lush rough around here. It's, it's very dry and dormant everywhere else except this one spot. But he can knuckle it out in the middle of the green and have it released back. That slope should kick it forward and to the right once it hits the ground kind of like that Jeez. get on back there ball knuckled one out of there as robert described phil necro would have been proud of that effort well done right there out of today thomas is going to have to hoist this one here at six robert i don't know how he hits the green here this is, has to be blasted out yeah, I mean, 56 yards is that in between whether you're going to have to clip it or blast it. But that was on a downslope, so he was, his hand was forced. Boy, a lot of a lot of danger going three down to Cooch. Absolutely no man's land for a golfer right there.
hardest shot in golf for sure is that the level of precision is just so, so tight. Contact is always unpredictable too. It's where you want to pick it, you want to blast it. And you know, you take less than a, you know, a sand wedge or something. You might even take a, a nine iron or a pitching wedge in that case. But uh, even for one of the best players in the world, I mean, it's just, it's just a uh, super problematic shot. We'll keep it right here and Thomas will play his fourth. Well, this one much easier, but not necessarily easy. Changing clubs, either changing from his sand wedge to his lob wedge and going to fly it back or vice versa. Most likely vice versa, try to release it back, use that 56 degree, land it 10 feet shorter, so release it a little bit up the hill. Just like that. Mm, that is so pretty. Beautifully done as it just wanders by a few feet. Oh, the artistry used. I mean, just the, the the imagination of that club change right there. You know, he felt like maybe it was a, maybe there was a little bit more of a down slope or a little bit more of an upslope than he originally thought. And the instincts of a player of Justin Thomas's ability. Uh, I mean, it just it just leads into that. I mean, that's that's really the biggest difference. He has so much God given talent and instinct. And uh, the board for an eagle and Kuchar back here at the six can win the hole with a birdie conversion. I actually had two chances to win if JT were to miss his as well. Look at that pace. Oh, no, didn't waste any effort. Not necessary for Thomas to miss that short one. Kuchar handling matters on his own and taking a three-up lead in this match. The great equalizer putting is. It's I mean that the pace of that putt, it just dripped into the hole.